Hi, this is Mr. Ward. I'm going to follow up on that last video on the discriminant because there's a really simple thing you can do that reduces a lot of your calculations. Uh, well, and also will help you uh, avoid uh, making some silly mistakes with negative numbers. So if you were to separate the b squared and the 4ac, now if, if, I, if I had b squared being greater than 4ac, um, then instead of like having to calculate what it all equals, if b squared is greater than 4ac, then b squared minus 4ac has to be positive, okay? So if b squared is greater than 4ac, then we have uh, two solutions, okay? If, on the other hand, let me do this this way. Okay, we have a couple other situations. Actually, I don't want those to be notes. Okay, if on the other hand I have a b squared equals 4ac, I'm going to be doing same minus same. Okay, so b squared minus 4ac will equal zero. So I have one solution in that case. And then if I were to have, oops, wrong thing I'm getting there. If I were to have b squared is less than 4ac, then I have no real solutions. And that's a quick shortcut you can use for this. Uh, I do want to uh, demonstrate why this can be useful. And sometimes you're going to have an A, B, or C that you might have a, a negative in the mix. So let's say we have negative 20 here. And we'll make this a positive 3. Okay? So if I do that, then my B squared is going to be negative 5 squared. So I'll always put the negative inside parentheses when you're squaring because that is the square of negative 5. If I don't do that, if I just do this, then that is the negative of the square of 5. And that's going to be negative 25. See what it says there? Uh, negative 25, but if I put the parentheses there, I am squaring negative 25. So that's 25, cool. And now I'm going to do 4ac, 4 times 3 times negative 20, and I get negative 240. Now, a lot of times when people do this calculation, they forget that that makes that discriminant b squared minus a negative, which means b squared plus something. And so this makes it a little easier to tell. You can tell that 25, the b squared, is definitely greater than negative 240. So you will have two real solutions, two real number solutions. Okay? And I hope that was helpful.